President Trump has fired his Secretary of Veterans Affairs, David Shulkin. He had faced criticism over travel expenses and poor care at, at VA health centers. The president tweeted this evening that he is nominating his personal physician, Navy Rear Admiral Ronnie Jackson, to be the new Secretary of the Department. For more on this breaking story, I'm joined now by Lisa Ryan of The Washington Post. Lisa, thank you for joining us. We just learned about this just about half an hour ago. What what do we know about what problems uh, had arisen with Secretary Shulkin? So, Judy, this um, ousting of, of uh, Dr. Shulkin was widely expected. Um, it had been expected for weeks uh, because while Dr. Shulkin had been a favorite cabinet member of the president's uh, for many, many months, uh, he fell out of favor after an inspector general report criticized a trip that he took to Europe that, uh, that was lavish, that involved his accepting a gift of improper Wimbledon tickets. And then Dr. Shulkin did himself no favors by pushing back hard against the report uh, and also by uh, going to the press repeatedly and talking about an insurrection that was afoot inside VA to oust him over his uh, policy differences on private care for veterans. So that's really what tipped the scales uh, for Dr. Shulkin. Now, he had been, if I remember correctly, the only holdover from the Obama uh, administration. And I think we have been reading that he and the president had developed a good relationship. They had, in fact, a number of uh, months ago, the president, uh, who famously says you're fired at the uh, Oval Office um, at a, an appearance, said, oh, we'll never say that about our David, meaning Secretary Shulkin. Uh, but this president um, is volatile often in his opinions of, of who serves him. And Dr. Shulkin, by all accounts, uh, you know, was a very, very competent um, former hospital administrator who had run big hospital systems. Um, but when you fall out of favor with the president, it is hard to get your footing back. And that's, that's what happened here. And just quickly, what do we know about Dr. Ronnie Jackson? Right. So the choice of, of Dr. Jackson was really, I think, a surprise to um, to most of us. Uh, there were the ca the dis people who the president was considering. The names were tightly held. We know that uh, Jackson is a rear admiral, admiral, and the president uh, really likes people in the military. It's actually unclear, though, whether he uh, he's still on active duty. So the question is, will he retire? Uh, because the VA is a civilian job. Will he retire or will he seek a waiver, um, as former National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster did, uh, from, uh, from co co the Congress to continue serving in an active duty capacity? Um, he has not run a large organization like VA. Um, few people have, 370,000 employees. Uh, and the other thing we don't know about Admiral Jackson uh, are his views on privatization of VA which I think is kind of the biggest hot-button policy issue now that is really under debate, which is how much private care should veterans in the, in the system be allowed to seek outside the system? Well, a number of questions uh, which uh, we'll all be seeking answers to. Again, this uh, news just broke within the hour. Lisa Ryan with The Washington Post, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.